So, welcome to another Glen Maney Talks Chelsea. Thanks for the two or three of you that that watch these videos. Um, any newbies, if you could subscribe to the channel, and uh, apparently, if you press a like, it helps my algorithm. And we all like a healthy algorithm, don't we? Right, yesterday it was Manchester United nil, Chelsea nil. Uh, big talking point, obviously, was the assault on Aspilicueta, um by Maguire. I think, I think he, uh, I think it was a lesson of an assault on those police in uh, in Greece, don't you? Than than yesterday afternoon, and the fact that we've got VAR, the 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 guy on VAR duty just needs sacking. There's no, there's no debate really is there even even uh, supporters from uh, Tottenham and West Ham have said to me that was just the most blatant penalty they've ever seen that hasn't been given so uh, yeah big difference in a tight game like that a penalty big difference so uh, got to feel a little bit unfortunate just for that and, and what made me laugh was Gary Neville he was saying you know it could have been a penalty but then he's on on about Rashford at the other end Rashford who'd already released the ball he'd already passed it before his foot made contact with uh, with Silvers and no way no way should that have been a penalty but uh, you just think to yourself oh, if it's not Carragher it's Neville talking total you know about their own about their own teams. I don't blame them. You know I'd be biased myself, I suppose, if I was on television. But I don't. I don't think if you're a pundit, you should really commentate on your own team's uh, game because uh, you tend to you tend to be biased, don't you? But there you go. There you go. It was just a. Uh, but yeah, definite definite penalty uh, missed for uh, for Chelsea there, which is just when stuff's running against you. Um, it's running against you, I guess. So hopefully it'll uh, hope it equals out over the season. So the game itself, I thought Mendy was excellent. Um, I'll be honest, even the Rashford save, I sort of would have expected him to save because it was a nice, it was a nice height, but he saw it late, and uh, it was still a smart, smart save. And I, you know, Kepper. Kep would still be looking at it, wouldn't he? Let's face it. So it's nice to have Mendy there. A couple of poor bits of uh, distribution if we're going to pick hairs. But the weather was shocking. Um, it was greasy underfoot. And do you know what Mendy did last night? I don't know how many of you noticed it. But I thought it was summed him up as a goalkeeper. It wasn't any of the saves. It were good saves. I mean, the, the Rashford one with his right foot, excellent. But... It was uh, a ball got really pinged. I think it might have been James pinged a ball right across the ground. He had a guy running in on him and he caught it. He dived outwards and caught it in that wet and he held it. And I thought to myself, we've got a goalkeeper on our hands. He's human, he'll make mistakes. Of course he will. I suppose everyone's waiting for it but uh no well done mendy i'm gonna give mendy a nine last night i uh he would have been bordering on nine and a half it hadn't been for the a couple of bits of poor distribution i think one he ended up in the stand but so what you know as long as they end up on, on the end of one of their boots and they're running at you who cares so we set up um we set up with two wing backs we had reese james and uh, right on the right and Chilwell on the left and in between we had Aspie, um, we had Silva and we had Zuma. Zuma did okay last night. Can't remember his customary mistake during the game. Won a lot in the air. Um, gets a seven and a half from me every day of the week. Thiago Silva, personally my man of the match. Uh, he gets a he gets a nine. That block that block from uh, in front getting in front of Cavani that that sealed it for me. He always looked assured. He's not rushed. Took me back to the the days of JT to be honest, and uh, and he was a calming influence all round. 
I thought we looked a lot steadier with Asprey there in the middle as well. And, and I wonder if when Thiago Silva doesn't play, because he's not going to play all the games, I wonder if Asprey can just sit in there where he plays as a bit of a calming, uh, bit of a calming influence for Azuma or Tamore or whoever's next to him. Um, because Dave done really well last night. And it was nice. He was covering um, James and uh, Reese was covering him. Worked really, really well at the back. Uh, it's, it's amazing, isn't it? What a couple of weeks does. You would never have thought, if someone had said to you, you're going to get two clean sheets in a row, you uh, you would you'd never have dreamed it, to be, to be fair. Um, so, yeah, we're looking a, a lot tighter. In the midfield, we had um, Jorginho and Kante. And, uh, yeah, they, well, Kante, I thought, was excellent. Um, Kante, uh, from me, gets uh, gets an eight. And uh, Jorginho, in and out of the game, but he put a shift in. And it, was, it wasn't it was easy on that on that wet surface. So, uh, he gets a seven and a half from, from me. Oh, I forgot to... Fullbacks and I, Chilwell and uh, Rhys James both both get uh, seven and a half. One of the balls that Rhys James put in was an absolute pearler. I think one of the defenders just took it away from Pulisic, or it, it would have been a goal. But he put some lovely balls in last night. Um, and then we had Havertz, uh, Werner, and Pulisic. Pulisic is obviously struggling for full fitness. It's going to be another two or three games. He was like this last year, wasn't he? Um, decent shot on goal. That one from Rhys James, he was just a hair away from it. Put a shift in. Um, got back. Defended three or four times on the on the edge of our box. But it did take it, it did take its toll on him. And um, when Mount come on, I wasn't surprised. And you can probably see why Frank started Mount instead of Pulisic on the left the other night against Sevilla. Because that was even a, a sterner test. And he sees Pulisic in training. He's probably thought, no, I'll, I'll put you somewhere where you're going to be less exposed. But uh, Pulisic, is, is, he'll, he'll get there soon. And um, very positive, uh, as always, but just lacking a little bit of match fitness. Werner was unlucky last night, uh, that through ball from Havertz, so uh, put a shift in, good defensively as well, got back, filled in loads of holes, cut down space, just not really much of a sniff in front of the goal. Uh, Havertz was okay last night, he was okay, a couple of decent balls, again, got back defensively very good um, so what people like Callum hudson Adoy should do is really watch Havertz and think right I need to be when I, when we haven't got the ball I need to be getting back goal side of men like like Havertz was last night so I'm giving Pulisic a seven I'm giving Havertz a seven because he didn't you know didn't rip up any trees did he and uh, I think it'll be past Christmas before he does and uh, Werner gets a seven Loads of effort, loads of doing the uh, the ugly stuff, getting goal side, but uh, not really uh, not really getting a sniff in front of uh, in front of goal. Not gonna score the uh, the substitutes. Mount come on and did what Mount does. He pressed, and uh, Abraham. Uh, <laughs> I did laugh. He, he was he was tracking a guy back. He was, he was tracking, I can't remember who it was now. Never actually got anywhere near him, but he, he, the, the effort was there. Um, so, uh, yeah, that, that made me, that gave me a bit, of a, a bit of a giggle. All in all, though, I thought um, Frank pretty well got it right. We've obviously got to work on this balance between defence and attack. But that will come. And um, as we become more and more confident at the back which we will with Mendy playing like that and um, and uh, Thiago Silva um, when he's playing 
like that we, we we'll be more expressive we'll be more sort of not gung-ho but we'll we'll be more offensive that'll come naturally what we needed to do was was shore it up at the back and uh, and we've done that so that's it it wasn't a great spectacle let's face it but but i enjoyed it it was an enjoyable watch and um watching people like tiago silva do their do their job and 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 enjoying his experience and and watching where he where he runs when he drops i think that it was quite a, an education really to to watch him against quality opposition manchester united won't be far away they won't be far away this season they're not they're not the great man united of old but i don't think he's doing a, a particularly bad job and uh, when you've got rashford running at you it's uh it's always a challenge so yeah um frank he gets uh he gets an eight from me and um onwards and upwards we've got a uh european cup game i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna try and say it, it begins with k <laughs> in the week and uh, i shall speak to you all afterwards let me know what you thought about the game let me know who you thought was your man of match and uh you want to chat about anything then um, leave your comments on youtube and uh, and i'll get back to you um but yeah yesterday i'll never forget that for a blatant assault i think if Maguire had done that in uh, in a greek bar he'd still be in prison now okay folks speak to you soon up to chelsea